if you're part of my free telegram group, you've seen that I gave away some whitelist spots for the Huddle 01 DRTC note sale that is happening, I think, right now when this video goes live. So you could have bought an earlier tier, but in case you didn't get a whitelist spot, here's the whole video for you that talks about why they're selling notes, why they're focused on decentralized real-time communication or DRTC, and how the notes can potentially do like a 50 to 100x based on the token distribution and fully diluted valuation at launch. And if that sounds interesting, let me walk you through. As always, links are down below. I think you also get a 10% rebate if you use the code MELOS10 in all caps, but more to that later. In short, what they do and are already doing have decentralized audio video connectivity, which means let's say I call you through Zoom, for example, or use anything that is browser and web based in order to make an audio or video call that usually lags and or sucks hard. Lots and lots of different things run on AWS, the Amazon Web Services. And if Zoom, for example, were to swap over to their DRTC network, they would save about 95% of their cost, making it a lot cheaper, more affordable. Last year alone, Amazon's Web Service made over $90 billion in revenue with their cloud services. And with crypto being decentralized and doing all of that, but a lot cheaper, more affordable, while also being more secure, and rewarding people that participate in this whole ecosystem. Eventually, with more and more demand, people are going to swap over to things like Huddle, for example, and other projects. They already have, I think, like 40,000 users that use the app. And based on the math that I have seen, you're almost guaranteed to get a four times return on investment if you buy a note. And right now, with Bitcoin doing that and probably hitting new all-time highs in the next hour or so, it's a pretty good time to get into. They get three main categories up here, contribute and earn, where you can share your unused internet bandwidth and earn Huddle tokens for enabling uninterrupted communication between end users. You can obviously use it for virtual events, workspace meetings, one-on-one -on -one chats, and live streams and more. And also integrate that. Now you might say, okay, who's going to integrate that? Any type of online game, for example. They had this announcement on Yahoo Finance on how Xi is partnering with Huddle to bring decentralized physical infrastructure networks connectivity to the gaming ecosystem. If you talk to anybody in game and you have a ping of more than 100, it's not that fun. If you ever made, let's say, like a WhatsApp call online and you're in different countries, the connection can be terrible. And with voice chats being a thing in games, proximity chat as well, that is one aspect of gaming, for example, that isn't really focused on by other projects. They have this whole pitch deck over here as well on pitch.com, which I will use to illustrate some of the points because it makes it a lot easier. But they've been backed by iFind, for example, Protocol Labs, Hashkey as well, and a lot more. They were founded in 2020, so almost five years ago, raised over $5 million, I think as of now over $6 million. They are in the NVIDIA Inception program, with more than 50,000 community members, and tens of thousands of people on the waitlist for their note sale. And I think, based on what I heard, there have been pretty much as many whitelist spots as notes, because if you, let's say for example, had a note in 8th year, I think you were promised a tier 1 whitelist spot. And they even incentivize you to buy 5 or buy 10 in order to get an additional 1 or 2 notes dropped into your wallet, and with them being capped at 20,500 nodes, this can sell out fairly quickly. We've seen it more and more recently for bigger node projects that they launch up to 100,000 nodes and then sell like 40 to 50K, usually up until 50%. So there's a good chance that a majority of those are already sold out right now when it goes live. Testnet is going to launch end of November. The mainnet launch is going to happen in quarter one of next year, as well as the TGE, token generative event. And they have a large ecosystem and partners behind it, with more and more being announced every single week. So again, just to recap why they make the notes and why they built this whole company. 95% cheaper, scalability and performance is improved with end-to-end -end encryption. And we don't get controversies like Slack simply scaling their own AI and training it using user data, which nobody signed up for. And while they attack a $1 trillion market, they also benefit you in multiple different ways. For example, just in order to get API on your tokens, you can simply hold them and or stake them and or run a note and also hold tokens to get more and more over time. They also make the requirements fairly easily as you just need a minimum bandwidth of 250 megabytes per second and requiring four cores. But in case you don't have the requirements, you can most likely just use a virtual private server or also simply delegate the nodes and then have them being run for you. Now, they already got 1.5 million new users being onboarded soon with their SDK integration, aren't as compute heavy as other AI or gaming focused nodes. And if they would reach between like 1 and 5% of the entire market that Google Meets and Zoom has over the next year, it will be the biggest Web3 adoption ever. Which then also means if you have a node of the token, you know, goes up, good for you. They are already partnered with Atheoxi, Pirate Nations, DGods, IOTechs, and a lot more. And with their whitelist, 
probably being sold out with the 7,777 notes that they have. They then have about 13,000 notes available for public sale in this first phase. And they're going to be maxed up with like 46,900 notes total, which means right now it's the easiest and the earliest you can ever get them. And that's cool and all. Now let's look at all the other things in there because we gotta know a couple things. And do I need KYC? It says it's required at the time of claiming and operating the note as they use the Synapse service for KYC. So you gotta be at least 18 years old and you're not allowed to be in any of those countries when you buy the notes. So it says in case you're a US citizen, this doesn't work, right? You can't go through KYC. Now, in that case, I have this on linked in my description down below as well. You can get a digital residency ID, which gives you a physical card as well, which can then be used for KYC, which means if you ever want to sign up to an exchange, for example, this works for KYC in case something like this happens and you technically can't participate based on a piece of plastic that was given to you by the government, you can legally get a different one and then still participate and be eligible for that. So no worries. And then in case you've got a note or multiple and you want to run them, we have the requirements up here. In my case, I don't like to have things on 24 seven. I could use my laptop, but I'll probably just get a virtual private server or use their service in order to delegate. So you don't have to do anything at all. Otherwise details are over here. And those notes can be run once the test net starts at the end of November, which means I would assume in about three weeks from now, that's when you can run the notes in just a few steps, so it shouldn't be complicated. In case you delegate to other operators, those receive a commission and boost their reputation by managing delegated keys efficiently, which means you still get the majority of your rewards, but some of those would go to whoever you delegated to, who then operates that in your behalf. Now, during the testnet, media operators can earn up to five huddle per day per note, which means if you get 10 notes, you will get 50 tokens or up to 50. I should say, and 21% of the entire token supply will be allocated as rewards for active nodes during the testnet phase. Let's say in the next three weeks, they don't sell that many nodes. Then you get the huge airdrop and allocation, and then they sell the rest of the nodes. Then you benefit even more. There's an immediate vesting though, for which you get 20% unlocked at TGE, which means if price starts here, most people, because they spent money, want to get the money out. So they sell the token, but if 100% gets released, then the price would do this. And then people say, oh, this project is dead. It didn't work. It did me, 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 me. So in order to not have this happen, they release 20%. So just like this, and then this, and then this. Vesting makes a lot more sense if you get into it long term. For the token, HUDL, H-U-D-L. They have this graphic over here, how it works, how things work together. They also got a burn mechanism behind it, which is important to make it deflationary. And while we do get 21% for the nodes and 20% for the ecosystem, 40% of everything is for core contributors and investors. This is somewhat eh, because it means in the future when there are major token unlocks, this could hurt the price quite a bit, but it's also positive because there's a one year cliff. So all of this is not unlocked until the start of 2026. And then for the next two years, there's a linear vesting, which means about 1.7% of the token supply gets released per month, starting around January to March, like quarter one of 2026. So the entire 40%, they're pretty much gone and count into the fully diluted valuation, but don't dilute the valuation for the next year. Only 4% for strategic partners, 36 months for the foundation behind it, 5% is available immediately for liquidity, and the ecosystem has linear vesting over 24 months with daily token drops. So I would assume the most amount of tokens we get is for having notes, as we get 1% more than the ecosystem and also have a daily over 24 months. Now they got every single disclaimer in the book, so you know that it's crypto after all and you shouldn't spend all your money on it. But if you want the potential 50 to 100x and be part of a growing ecosystem that has pretty much all the green flags and real world application, actual users and a long term use case, and you want to get 10% rebate, so pretty much money back with the code Melos10, then link is down below, not financial advice. And of course, the earlier you get in, the more tokens you make, especially in the first six months with the bootstrapping program. Plus you would get the notes before TGE happens. So you get additional rewards, which can then be worth quite a lot over time. Now, personally, what I see with most notes is they launch somewhere here. People do want to get the money back. So they will initially sell, sell and sell. And then it happens for probably half of node projects that they somewhat bottom out here, but we might actually skip this entire phase before they get the next leg up and simply go here to here as right now when I record this on November 6th, 
Bitcoin is now at 73k, this graph is still going up. The all-time high of 73.7k is almost reached. And the election is happening today. We will see who wins and how that affects the market. But we are pretty much in the phase now where the bull run officially starts. Out season is here and things are going to go up by quite a lot. My investment strategy, again, when it comes to circles, is have the safe but boring thing, have the narratives that you believe in, like that and as well as gaming, then some passive income stuff and notes, which then in return fund this entire thing to buy more notes, and then like 5-10% to just to like buy altcoins and memes to gamble. But we want to be smart this bull run, and not stupid like last bull run, so we can continue making money. And if I buy, let's say, 10 notes right now, and I get them at tier 1, so I spend like $3,000, give or take, get two additional notes, and get a whole bunch of tokens, that alone should get the return on investment in like two to three months, I would guess, until we have TGE happening. We're part of something that is actually useful, and I wouldn't be surprised if a single note probably gets like a 5 to 10x minimum, but based on their estimate of growing to like a billion dollars in fully diluted valuation and more, and Deepin is a sector always being one of the hype categories here, like just Tau since yesterday is up by 20%, which is hundreds of millions of dollars that went into it. All of this is growing by quite a lot. But then again, not financial advice, do with your money whatever you like. I'm just showing you what I buy personally. And until next time, take care.